guys, welcome to Zenomatics. So welcome to today's daily dose of maths. And this is going to be a question from A-Level's paper three topic, which is modulus functions. It's pretty easy question, but sometimes due to introduction of an alphabet as a constant, students do tend to have problems over here. So let's have a quick look at the question. And then once you have tried it, of course, you can go for the solution as well. So let's begin with this. All right, so the question is, uh, that we have to find the solutions for this inequality. Uh, this is a modulus of x plus 2a, uh, which is greater than three times modulus of x minus a. We know that the best way to deal with modulus when we have both sides with a modulus on an inequality is to take a square on both sides. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to take a square on both sides. So what a square does, is it neutralizes the effect of the positive and the negative outside the modulus function. So it will open as x squared plus 4ax plus 4a squared. This would be greater than 3 squared would be 9. And let's open this square. This would be opened as x squared minus 2ax plus a squared. And so this is uh, the current inequality that we have. Let's let's expand everything and bring all things to one side. So this would become x squared plus 4ax plus 4a squared. And that would be greater than 9x squared minus 18ax and plus 9a squared. Now I'm going to bring everything to the right hand side. So over to the left hand side, I'll have zero. So if we calculate this 9x squared minus x squared, we will be left with 8x squared minus 18ax minus 4ax would give us minus 22ax. And 9 squared minus 4a squared would give us 5a squared. So this is my inequality. Uh, and now we have a quadratic inequality. So the way to solve a quadratic inequality is to factorize it first, then we're going to sketch it, then we're going to color the required region, then we're going to write the inequality finally, or you can use the number line approach as well. So first of all, I'm going to, just for uh, you know aesthetic reasons, I'm going to flip this inequality and write it as 8x squared, because many students are really comfortable when they're they're writing the algebraic part on the left and zeros on the right hand side. So I'm just going to flip this inequality. So there's no, nothing else that we're going to do in this step. This would be 5a squared would be less than zero. Uh, over here, do not get confused. I'm not bringing the terms to the left hand side. I'm just flipping the inequality and writing it the other way around. Now I'm going to factorize it. Uh, we understand that eight times five this would be 40 and 20 times two is 40 as well. So I'm going to factorize this portion. It would be eight x squared minus two ax minus 22 ax plus five a squared. I think I've made a mistake. I'll fix it right away. So this is going to be 20 over here. This is not 22. So minus 2ax minus 20ax, and this is the factorized form. Uh, so let's stay common in groups, and we will have 2x common. This would be 4x minus a. And let's take minus 5a common. And you will have 4x minus a taken as common. It must be less than zero. So this is uh, the factorized form. Let's take it to another stem. Uh, for this, uh, now we have come to a factorized form that is 2x minus 5a and, and 4x minus a. And this should be less than 0. Uh, once we have the stem, uh, let's try to imagine a graph for this. So if we imagine a graph, it would be uh, this uh, first bracket, if put equal to zero, would give us the first root, 
that would be 5a over 2 and this would be a over 4. So I'm going to imagine a positive quadratic curve and for this I will have two intercepts. The first one is a over 4 and the second one is 5a over 2. That's out there. Once we have both of these, we understand we need the inequality less than zero. Whenever it is less than zero, we are required to look at the region of the curve, which is below x-axis. So you guys can see below x-axis is this region. So I'm going to color this region as red. And some people try to color this inner region. That is OK as well. And what we're going to do is we're going to write the values on the x-axis, which are satisfied with this x region, uh, with this colored region. And we can see that x is bound between a over 4 and 5a over 2. This is our final inequality for this modulus function. So today's video was not a very hard question, but sometimes students tend to get a problem with this question because of the presence of A instead of having like, you know, uh, other constants. And this is where students sometimes get stuck. So this is a way, this is your way to uh, move around the question. If you have liked this question, do share it with other people who might need it. If you have a question, query, or any suggestion, leave us a comment in the section below. And I'll see you in the next video. Take care. Goodbye.